Friends, at t equal to 298 Kelvin, delta G naught of the reaction is equal to minus 16 lake 48,000 minus 298 multiplied by minus 549. On solving this comes out to be equal to minus 14,84,398 joules per mole. Since delta G naught is negative, hence this reaction must be spontaneous at 298 Kelvin. That becomes the answer. Well, question number two. Given that delta X naught F for methane gas is equal to minus 75 kilojoule per mole and delta S naught F for graphite is equal to 6 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. For hydrogen gas it is 131 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. For methane gas it is 187 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Temperature is 298 Kelvin. Calculate the standard free energy of formation delta G naught F for methane gas. The solution of this question is as follows. Formation of a compound means one mole of that compound in its standard state must be formed from its elements, not ions or radicals in their standard states. Therefore, the reaction under consideration is carbon graphite plus 2 H2 gas giving CH4 gas and temperature is 298 Kelvin. Therefore, delta X naught F for methane becomes nothing but delta H naught reaction for the above reaction and its value is given to us as minus 75 kilojoule mole inverse. Now delta S naught for the reaction will be equal to from the given data 187 minus within bracket 6 plus 2 into 131 that gives minus 81 joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Since delta G naught of the reaction is delta G naught F for methane and that's equal to delta H naught minus T delta S naught. So, substituting the values of delta H naught, T and delta S naught, we get minus 75,000 minus 298 multiplied by minus 81. So this amounts to minus 50,862 joule mole inverse. That becomes the standard free energy of formation of methane. And that is the answer of this question. Question number three. For the reaction, MgO solid plus carbon solid giving magnesium solid plus SIBO gas. Delta X naught of this reaction is equal to plus 491.18 kilojoule mole inverse. And delta S naught of the reaction is equal to 197.67 Joule Kelvin inverse mole inverse. Temperature is 298 Kelvin. Is this reaction spontaneous at 298 Kelvin? If not, then above what temperature it will be spontaneous? Let us solve this question. Since 
we know delta G naught is equal to delta H naught minus T delta H naught. Hence, at 298 Kelvin, delta G naught of the reaction will be equal to using the given data that is 491.18 minus 298 multiplied by 197.67 divided by 1000 that amounts to plus 432.18 kilojoule per mole since delta G naught comes out to be positive as this reaction cannot be spontaneous at 298 Kelvin temperature. Let us now calculate the temperature T for which delta G naught would be equal to zero. It can be done by the formula T equal to delta H naught upon delta S naught and that is equal to 491.18 upon 0 0.18. One nine eight. So that is equal to twenty four hundred eighty three point eight Kelvin. Therefore, this reaction would be spontaneous above two thousand four hundred eighty three point eight Kelvin or two thousand two hundred and ten point eight degrees Celsius. But production of magnesium at such a high temperature does not carry any commercial value.